Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day. Welcome back to another episode of The Bourbon Pour. I'm Jordan. And I'm Brian. And Brian's got a really cool story about the bottle that we have on the bar top today. Okay, so I was camping a couple weeks ago in Versailles, Indiana, uh, and I knew there's a, a liquor store I've heard about, uh, and, and it's just a couple miles down the road in, in Osgood. Uh, it's, it's Rocco's Liquor Depot. And so I, I went, made a trip over there, just killing some time. And they sold me on the story on this. So right. when you source it, you can't disclose exactly where it came from. Uh, so, but rumor has it that this was distilled in Kentucky and then shipped over to the, the Space Side Cooperage. Uh, and they, which is in Scotland? In Scotland. Scotland okay. and, and they aged it in a char three barrel and then they shipped it back. What it was, the product was Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. So this is a Elijah Craig Barrel Proof that has been double oaked. And it comes in at 119.4 proof. It's six and a half years old. The mash bill is 78% corn, 10% rye, 12% barley. And I have tried this once and I loved it. So I'm really looking forward to Jordan trying this out. Yeah. Uh, the the double oak side of it it was uh, just it's just really good so yeah. I think uh, I think it's one of those like I said the story sold it the guy the guy sure. if you're ever down in that area go check out that store uh, they do a lot of uh, uh, picks uh-huh. uh, so they have a lot of stuff and then they have several stores kind of smaller stores but it gets them some buying power yeah. and then they they have some good allocated uh, bourbon and the, the prices were pretty reasonable yeah and they I think they do a couple handful maybe I'm wrong uh, of lotteries mm-hmm. a year for, for bourbon right. drivers. I will say with this one being, uh, if it was barrels that were future Elijah Craig, usually I think Elijah Craig is a little bit higher proof. I had a 119 and a little bit older, but those things kind of go hand in hand. Right. right? right. So I, a lot of times proof goes up. So I think there was a, a, there was a plan of why they shipped sure, it over right. there. And then they, and not they, that I'm contesting. The, yeah. The, no, the plan fell through. So they shipped it back and okay. then they had all this product that they, they couldn't sell. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, in case as, anybody was wondering about as that. Own, yeah. As their own discipline. Gotcha. So they had to do something with it, which is how Circle City got it. Yeah. Uh, and they got it at a discounted yeah. price. Yeah. And, and uh, it, it was still a little salty. It wasn't cheap. Sure. Uh, but we'll get into that here in a okay. little bit after we okay. kind of get okay. into some of the tasting and, elements. Uh, shout out to Drew Black. He is uh, he's, he's the Circle City story guy. That's right. right. Yeah, uh, he yeah. did a cool, cool we, place. Yeah. yeah, we met him uh, at a uh, tasting of Vix. So, mm-hmm. yeah. All right, let's go in for a nose here. Well, you definitely get oak. <laughs> you did get a lot of oak. oak. Oak comes through big time. Beyond that, there's a a really good uh, sweet. There's a sweet yeah. element to yeah. it. I don't I mean, know what that's. It's, it's, it's hot. It's it, it's also yeah. got a hot side to it. I get a kind of a caramel. Yep. Uh, just not, kind of what I look for in a double oak. To, that's kind yeah. of those those elements yeah. I want to, a bit I want nut, to come through. A bit nutty on the nose too. A little dirty, yeah, like it's a little, little like kind little of hazelnut nutty. though, like a richer richer nut. Mm-hmm. But you know what? I yeah. kind of want to know what it tastes like. Yeah. So let's go in for a sip here. So that I think that drinks. Uh, Punches a little bit above the one nineteen. Just it comes in. It comes in hot. Yeah, but uh, but it's coating, soothing. It's a. I mean, it's the flavors on that are very traditional bourbon, right? And uh, they're intense, right? That proof a lot. Sometimes with me, higher proof. I I, I either love it or hate it. I guess and it, and it all depends upon whether that proof lends to those flavors right. in this one. Knocks that out of the park. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I, and I think it puts it in those elements of where it brings it to the level that sometimes it's really hard to explain. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And when I drink a really, really good bourbon uh, or whiskey, I have a hard time explaining that. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, I might be able to think about it a week later and think, oh, that's what that was. It was, yeah. it was, it was chocolate or yeah. it was this element that came yeah. out. Uh, but this is one of those that's in that category that the first, the first time I tasted, I was like, Oh my! Mm-hmm. This is special. This is this is yeah. different. Yeah, uh, that's a, a that's a deep, deep, rich caramel, like right. a super. You know what? Everybody always throws out. Oh, I taste caramel. I taste caramel. Mm-hmm. But there's different levels of it, and and that's a that's a, a deep, darker. There's almost a a molasses to it, right? You know, 
And it punches strong at the at the proof. I would say, like you said, it probably does drink a little higher than mm-hmm. that. But it reminds me. I think when I reached out to you, I was telling you, I thought it had a. And I don't. I'm not getting all the the Woodford Double Oak mm-hmm. notes as what I was the other night. Uh, but I got. A, I think it, it's that amplified on yeah. with the proof. Yeah. So if you if you like if you like the Woodford Double Oak, which I think is the staple for any double sure. oak out there, uh, and you like proof, Mayor. Marrying, yeah. marrying the two together, yeah. this is this yeah. is the perfect model yeah. for you. For for me, uh, one thing that this is lacking in comparison to Woodford Double Oak is I always get a maple syrup and a very strong, strong maple syrup, and I'm not getting that right. one quite as much. I think the proof kind of mutes out yeah. some of that, pushes that out. Yeah, yeah. So, but molasses, you know, I did yeah, say I molasses do that 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 lends towards maple syrup because those are both dark, sweet mm. notes. So. But this, this is a phenomenal. Yeah, thing. this is what yeah. I want to see open up. Maybe I might uh-huh. just put this back and let it sit for sure. a few months, and then because uh, the first time I had it, I, I just thought, "Oh my, this is probably going to be in the run for one of our bourbons of the year." I can uh, see that. And a chart three barrel that they put it in—that's really it's awful dark. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I, know, I, I would like, think for six and a half years, it's, that's how do you how do yeah. you get it quite that Look, dark? Looks but, like Coca Cola. <laughs> right. So. Anyway, really good, phenomenal pick. Okay. This was ninety five dollars. Okay. Uh, sure. Take cash with you. They do upcharge if you if you Your if you card. use a credit card. It was a, it was an extra like three percent, so it ended up being one hundred five dollars yeah. um, when it was all said and done. Yeah. So, but but ultimately for that price, do I like spending one hundred dollars on a bottle of whiskey? No, I don't. Uh, am I upset? No. This is a mm-hmm. great this is a great bottle. Or this is a really awesome bottle though. I love the label. We're from Indiana, of course, so mm-hmm. we're Hoosier proud. I don't know if you can see though. That label is pretty darn cool. So Indianapolis is known as the Circle City Monument Circle in downtown Indianapolis. Uh, Drew and his team do a really good job. That's probably, I would venture to say, is the best uh, Circle City that I've had. Yeah, so I uh, hope you enjoyed that story. That's pretty cool, pretty unique. If you're in that area of Osgood, which is in, we'd say, east Kind of down towards, towards Cincinnati, yeah. maybe 45 minutes out of Cincinnati. Okay. Um, yeah, it's Off a, 50, off mm-hmm, US 50. Right. If you're in that area, stop by... Uh, uh, what's, what's the store called again? Uh, Rocco's. Rocco's. Stop by. I was going to say Rico's. <laughs> Stop by Rocco's and uh, check this bottle out for sure. So, all right, we're going to end this episode the same way that we always do, and that is when we're with your family and your friends, always share your whiskey. whiskey.